Yeah, well done for a piece, so you need to undo it. Wait, wait, I hear it. Right there. Now, pinch. Pinch him. Alright, now, just keep it right there. Cool. It's probably my fault anyway. Alright, four feet over here. Um, right here. Three and seven. So the width is three and the length is seven. So the next will be. Oh, well, yeah, 16, but I mean, like, the next one. So I mean, we're doing three feet, so it's going to be seven. So that's it? What? It's not 50, so it's another four feet. It's four by four? That's a 16. That's a square. That's a square. That's a square. That's a square. Who's going up? And what? And one for the width. Okay, and the area? Uh, it's nine equals nine x plus. It's nine, nine square feet. feet. Okay. okay. And give me one more. Uh, eight and two. Eight and two. Which was? Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen square feet. Now, how long was your rope? Twenty feet. Good thing. If you had one more. What would the dimensions be without putting it on the ground? Look at the pattern you have up here. It would five, be five. five and five. What would that look like? A square. A square. And what would the area be? Twenty-five. Okay. So you did yours in order from long and skinny to less long and skinny until it's square. All right, they did theirs in order, which makes it really obvious that there's a pattern in these. Okay, which one had the highest area? Five. What is that one? Twenty-five. It's the square. So if you're going to make a garden or a dog run or something, and you have some fencing and you want the most space, what figure do you want to make? The square. The square. What would we go to next, by the way? Four and six. Four and six. Oh, it's one now. Four by six is really the same rectangle as six by four. Boom. Just turned on its side. Do you see that? So what's going to happen with the area when we go to a four by six? It's going to go. It's going to go lower. It's going to go back to twenty-four. Right. What do you have to measure for a circle? The radius, right? Radius. So the easiest way is to measure the diameter and then do what? Cut it in half. So measure the diameter. Help him. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> okay, straighten that stick up. That looks good. Okay, now measure up that side. You see, now we have a little extra rope over there to make your last four foot. Oh, so it's going to be four and four. Okay, sketch that out. Sketch it out. So you know what it looks like. The Pentagon was, our rope was 20 feet. The Pentagon's area was bigger because it's closer to, like, it's closer to a circle. Okay. There, there's more sides, like, smaller the sides, like, closer to a circle, so the area is bigger. Excellent. The closer, the closer to a circle, the <laughs> more area you have. Because the circle has no sides, and you can fit all the area you want. The circle was 28.26 feet. That's what I meant. And then the square was 25 feet. And then the triangle was 16 feet. Okay. And so, what conclusion did you come in? So, okay. The circle was the best choice because it has the most amount of area, so you get the most amount of space. And so, your recommendation to Princess Dito would be? To so use the circle. circle. We measured a rope with a length of 12 feet and made it into three different shapes to find. Uh, 
one shape have the largest area? Three shapes we used for a triangle, a circle, and a square. The triangle had an area of seven, because its base was four and its height was 3.5 feet. Uh, the circle had an area of 9.616, and the square had an area of nine. And what is your recommendation for Dito? A circle because there's no size restricting, so she can get maximum area. Okay.